Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we're going to try to have you understand a little bit about some of the structure of the file system and file explorer for one simple purpose. I regular, regularly get people saying, well, I have files that I saved on my PC. For some reason, when I go to the folders, not there. But if I search for them, they actually show up in the search. And I don't understand what's happening. One of the biggest problems in files in the folders of Windows 10 is the fact that there's often OneDrive folders and local folders. And those are two different things. The OneDrive folders contain files that are saved online. So they are basically saved to the cloud where the local folders are files that are on your hard drive. And that is messing up or mixing up a lot of people that just don't understand why or where all of this is. So if you click on your file explorer, you need to have access to all of this. The best way is to go to the view option at the top and click on navigation pane and make sure that you click navigation pane to show the folders on the left side. And here is where you might actually start understanding where your files are. This will let you see where all of these files are located. The OneDrive files. So you, if you look at OneDrive, you see documents is here. That's one way. And, but these are online. OneDrive is online in the cloud. But you also have this PC that will have your different uh, folders and stuff. So basically, this is what's going to happen is that you will have the folders here that are the ones in OneDrive that you can check where that might be. And you will have the ones that are in uh, this PC, which are the local folders of your own computer. So if you don't find files in documents or downloads, for example, of your this PC option, which is your hard drive, then what you should do is actually check out the OneDrive folder and check the same folders in the OneDrive. So by going here, you will have access to most of the time the same folders. So documents should be there, images or pictures should be there, music and so on, depending on how your computer was set up. Sometimes if you don't see something on one, you might find them on the other folder. Yeah, I know it's a kind of a tough way of, uh, you know, uh, not always easy way to find stuff. And for a lot of people, this mixes them up, but it's very important. One way to also know where the folder is located is that very often when you are on the OneDrive, you'll see that at the top, the address bar that shows the folders will give you OneDrive, where if you actually click the different um, uh, this PC and click the different, um, you know, folders on this PC, they will actually appear and it will tell you it's this PC. The folders are in your computer. So for example, you can click and you'll see that you're at this PC and videos or this PC and downloads or this PC and whatever folder you've chosen. So it's a hard one because Microsoft sh in some way should have done it in a clearer way of actually understanding where things save in the computer. But it's always important to look at where stuff are saving. So depending on the software you use, make sure that it's this PC in the folders, not OneDrive in the folders. So if you've lost files, just try and check out the folders of OneDrive or this PC. It might probably be in one of the two. And from there, you can easily just slide the file and slide it to the proper documents folder or whatever folder you're searching for. Now, this is doesn't mean you're going to find your files because there's very there's a lot of other things that can make these files disappear in some way. But this is one 
of the most common problems people not understanding that they saved it in one drive rather than saving it on the local folders of the hard drive of your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.